Morning class, I'm Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School and today I'm going to show you the difference between a gel and a medium and which one is best for your acrylic painting when you're just getting started. Often people just start with the acrylics and water and try and do their painting just with those alone. Gels are great to add texture to your paintings and mediums help to increase flow and blendability with your acrylics. So the first gel we're going to have a look at is a regular gel. The main difference between gels and mediums is if you're a painter or a pourer. If you're a painter and you want to keep the texture and the brush strokes that are in the paint, then a gel is often your best bet. If you like pouring acrylics and keeping them, them, them thin and getting them to like self-level when you paint them out, then um, a medium is often best to use. Essentially, all a gel is, is acrylic paint as in acrylic polymer but without the pigment added so this is a regular gel so that the consistency of this when we have a look at it is quite similar or pretty much similar apart from the extra of having the pigment as normal acrylic paint so this is some um, cad red so when i move the red around with the palette knife it holds quite good peaks on it, you know, quite good texture. And then when we move uh, this gel, it's, it's very similar. It's got slightly more give in it. So if you wanted to um, extend this red, you can just mix the gel into it. Well, you can mix a whole lot. That's what's great about gels is because essentially they're just the acrylic polymer. Um, you can mix as much or as little as you like in with the paint. Um, and it can help your paints go further. So that if you're working on, say, an underpainting, I might add, you know, some binder to it and then paint with this just to block in the colour. But then wait until I'm really sure of the colour before going in with the artist quality paint on top of that. So if you want the paint to go further but still keep this consistency, you can just add regular gel to it. Um, the thing that you'll notice when you look at a label on the gel, is it said regular gel and then in brackets it will say semi-gloss. Now this one is an extra heavy gel and you see how this has matte in brackets. So gels usually come in semi-gloss, matte or gloss, and it's entirely up to you which finish you, you like best to work with. So to show you the extra heavy gel, you see how when it comes out of the pot, it's got a lot thicker uh, texture to it. So say that you wanted to build up the texture in the foreground of a painting, you know, you can mix a bit of pigment in with it. You see how it appears to uh, make it paler because of course the medium is white. When it dries off it goes clear so it's not as noticeable. So if I wanted to create texture, you know, in the front of a painting, you know, I could use this extra thick gel and then that would dry off and I can paint on top of that and I've used a very minimal amount of pigment really in comparison to if I use that with pure cad red which is of course a very expensive pigment. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.